Okay, good morning. We're looking at inverse variation today. And it says, if a product is constant, product is where I'm multiplying, where the constant is positive, a decrease in value of one factor must accompany an increase in value of the other factor. Okay, um, I might not make sense just now, but let's keep going. As an equation, direct variation has the form of y equals kx, where k is not equal to zero. Inverse variation can have the form of xy equal k or y equal k over x or x equal k over y. This is all the same, where k is not equal to zero. When two quantities vary inversely, as one quantity increases, the other decreases proportionally. For both inverse and direct variation, k is a constant variation. So this product that they're referring to on the first one here, is this product here x y and as one of as my x value increases my y value decreases or vice versa so let's look at the problem number one that they have <clears throat> is the relationship between the variables a direct variation and inverse variation or neither write function models for the direct and inverse variations so we have x and y we have 2 and 15 4 and 7.5 10 and 3 and 15 and 2 so, as x increases, y decreases. So we can see my x values are increasing and my y values are decreasing. So it might be an inverse um, variation or inverse relationship. A plot confirms that the inverse relationship is possible. So we see if you plot it on a graph, that's what you should get. And now we want to see if this test is constant. So we want to see if this k value is constant. So we're looking because k is constant as long as it's not equal to zero. So we're going to multiply these values. So we have 10 times 15, which is 30. 4 times 7.5, which is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. And 15 times 2 is 30. So therefore, it looks like it is an inverse variation. And so we can rewrite it as y equals 30 over k or xy equals 30. Um, <clears throat> Let's go on to part B. It says a plot of the, oh, so here we have 2, 10, 4, 8, 10, 3, 15, 1.5. Because my x is increasing, my y is decreasing. So it might be an inverse variation. So we can test that. We see 2 times, well, they plotted it first, and we see. I notice that it's not a straight line, okay? So we have 2 and 10 is 20. 4 times 8 is 32. 10 times 3 is 30. And 15 times 1.5 is 2.5. So since the products are not constant, the relationship is not an inverse variation. Let's look at the guided now. Okay, so I have my calculator. <clears throat> and so we look at it, and we look at our x. I see that my x is increasing. My y is also increasing. So it might be a direct variation. So let's go back and look at our formula for direct variation. So direct variation is y equals kx. So in, if we have it equal to y, it would be um, no. So we, instead of y equals k over x, we have y equals kx. I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's see if we have that relationship, that same type of relationship, um, and we can do the same type of. Oops division that they have here. Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> and we can write that down. Y equals KX. So we are looking for a relationship that has for K anyway, Y over X. And so let's see if we have that type of relationship. 
And so we're going to divide y and x and see if we get the same values every time. So we'll do 8 divided by 0.2. Gives me 40. Okay, so let's write down 40. All right, then we'll do 20 divided by 0.5. Gives me 40 again. Then we have 40 divided by 1. We already know. We're going to put that in the calculator. 40. And we have 60 divided by 1.5. 40 again. So that means that this is a direct variation. Okay. So now let's look at part B. So let's look at B again. B, X again. Sorry. X. We have my values are increasing 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 to 1 to 2. For my y values, it's decreasing. So we can check for inverse variation. So I'm going to multiply my numbers now and see if I get the same k value. So I have 0.2 times 40. That gives me 8. So the first one I got 8. Uh, 0.5 times 16 gives me 8 again. Um, 1 times 8 gives me 8, and 2 times 4 gives me 8. So they all are equal to 8. So that means that this, for part B, it is an inverse variation. Okay, let's see if we get an, a neither. Maybe C is a neither. We need to see it. An example of a neither. Oh, we did see an example of a neither up here. Well, let's see if this one is a neither as well. So we have 0 0.5, 1.2, 2, and 2.5. So my x values are increasing. And I have 40, 12, 10, and 6. And my y values are decreasing. So let's multiply them to see what we get. So the first one is 20. I can already see that. So when I do 0.5 times 40, I get 20. Then we'll do 1.2 times 12, and I get 14.4. And I can really stop right there because they're not alike. But we'll go on. We'll do 10 times 2 times 10, which is 20. And then I have um, 2.5 times 6, which is 15. So this is an example of a neither. So. My k value is not constant. I hope this helps.